Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 271. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our uh, discussion of Two Guns, pew, in honor pew. of its release theatrically this Friday, August 2nd. Pew, pew, yeah, good times. Yeah. <laughs> two Guns. Two Guns. Even though it's two people with each with a gun. Yes. Um, it is the story of a DEA, DEA agent and a naval intelligence officer mm -hmm. who find themselves on the run after a botched attempt to infiltrate a drug cartel. While fleeing, they learn the secret of their shaky alliance. Neither of them knew the other was an undercover agent. Yes. Starring uh, Marky Wal Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's yeah DEA agent and NCIS agent who... Not only don't know that the other one is an undercover agent, but that the find out that the mob that they're actually stealing from is actually the CIA. Yes. Which, you know, the thing that sort of weirds me or disappoints me, I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's not that big a deal, but I, I, I was kind of um disappointed that they reveal right away that they they find out that the other ones are like yeah. their agents going under. It's sort of like that feels like a pretty important twist to the plot yeah a couple of them a the cia thing b that they don't know each other are agents c yeah. that they're agents to begin with like I, I mean it's it's based on a graphic novel yes, a comic series stephen the same grant. name yeah stephen grant by boom studio so i mean maybe that's part of it because maybe in the comic series it might be like two pages in that they discover who each other are and that becomes quickly not the yeah, important I mean, thing but what true. they do about it it's probably you're probably right i mean or because was, it's just established. Yeah. Maybe that's another one. I was shocked that it was based on a comic series. Like, yeah, that actually gives me a little bit more credibility for it. Because it's supposed to be an action comedy. And the last action comedy that I enjoyed that I that looked to me over the top was Red. Yes. The first Red. Yes. So I, And that was based on a comic series. And mm -hmm. that kind of it's true. gave me a little bit more leniency towards its tongue-in-cheek style. Rather than just being like, this is ridiculous for the sake of ridiculousness. Let me throw something at you. Um, Stephen Grant, the guy who did the comic mm. series, is best known for his work on The Punisher. Oh, yes. Yeah. Does that make you feel better or worse about this? I would say better, it, depending on how much he has uh, hands-on. Probably not movie. Very yeah. Many, yeah. Because, very I little. mean, I think, yeah, he brought The Punisher out of a, a pretty bad lull that he was in. He and kind of brought him back into the mainstream spotlight, if I remember correctly. And he's worked on a bunch of noteworthy things. I yeah. mean, he's worked on uh, was it, comics with characters from, like, CSI, uh, Robocop, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, he's done a whole bunch of stuff. A lot yeah. of independent stuff, working with IDW, Boom Studios, mm -hmm. Avatar Press, like... This movie, though was sup originally was even weirder than its final cast is because you know yeah. it was originally what it was supposed to be i know but i'll let you say yeah uh originally it was conceived as an action comedy set to return owen wilson and vince vaughn together after wedding crashers which is funny because they just had the internship yeah that's so actually who instead you know killed that relationship by doing the internship instead of this but it was even so much that when I was doing research before, I found something that was talking about Mark Wahlberg in this movie saying that Vince Vaughn was set to cast. At Even at that time, that press release still had, like, Mark Wahlberg is reteaming with the director from Contraband. The, uh, what's Balthazar, his name? Balthazar Cormacher. Cormacher. Yeah. yeah. Retooling with the director from Contraband in this movie with Vince Vaughn. But it ended up being Denzel Washington. It's interesting. So, so they had dropped Owen at that point but kept Vince Vaughn. I guess so. Or at least were maybe still pursuing him. Probably not a bad idea to get rid. I mean, I actually I don't know about for the comedy side, but for seriousness side, Denzel. Much better I actually choice. think both of them I, I enjoy for the premise of this movie better. A, I mean, That's a good point. I feel like yeah. Mark Wahlberg is a pretty good action star. Yeah, and I feel like the other guys was oh, a yeah. great comedic. Yeah, performance. he's definitely a good straight man. So if he's gonna be more the straight man rather than like he's a pretty goofball, comedic, he's pretty goofy true. in that too. Yeah, uh, and Denzel, I feel like Denzel. Is great as a straight man, but I mean he can he can be funny as well. Oh, I mean I feel I feel like both of them are more versatile than Owen Wilson yes. and Vince Vaughn. I also feel like both of them are more equipped for action than yeah. Owen Wilson and Vince. I Vaughn. would agree, I would agree with that. So I mean I'm a pretty big fan of that. The one that was even weirder to me though is the uh, the part of Deb, who's sort of like I guess the third in line, okay. played by Paula Patton in the final product, was I originally see. conserved for Ellen Pompeo from Grey's Anatomy okay. and Marissa Tomei. <laughs> We're talking like the badass actress from Mission Impossible Four, Ghost <laughs> Protocol, or Marissa Tomei. Like, look, I like Marissa Tomei. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think badass action no. actress at all. Or even Ellen Pompeo. Yeah. Pompeo. Like, and that would have sort of made sense 
Because um, that would have been a bit of an old school reunion. Because mm-hmm. she was in that as well. Yeah, that's uh, true. But it really feels like a stretch for both of them. Yeah, too. And seems like it was a very odd project up in the air for a while that they, you know, maybe maybe they settled it in a much better way by making the choices that they made. Did you see Contraband Mm-mm. from Balthazar Comerker? Which was, uh, I should know, based on a Icelandic film from 2008 That's called right, I forgot that. Reykjavik Rotterdam. Okay. Which was originally done by Oscar Johansson, which is funny because I would have assumed that Balthazar Comerker yeah. might have been just a daffy <laughs> yeah. thing. It's not unheard of that they just adapt their work to American true. times. But um, the thing that sort of is interesting about that, like, I think, you know, Contraband was okay. It wasn't really great. It was okay. Mark Wahlberg was fine Was in that it. the one with um, Giovanna Ribisi in it as well? Wasn't he playing the, like, scummy, semi-bad guy? Yes, I believe I you're right. I remember, ship, right? yes, okay. and Ben Foster was in it. Yes, and there's, um, yes, yes, I mean, yes. it, was, it was okay. It was okay. But <laughs> Big O, little K. I mean, I guess the relationship between him and Wahlberg really probably helped him get this project spoiled. Because, I mean, they consider, let's see, Doug Lyman, hmm. who'd done stuff like Mr. and Miss Smith. Yeah. You know, he's done a whole bunch of stuff like that. I mean, I think all the way back to Swingers back yeah. in the day. So he's he's been around forever. Huh. Anton Fuqua, who's done yes. a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Peter Morell, which I don't know a heck of a lot about. And Martin Campbell. Who's wow. a very accomplished action director? Sadly, probably Green Lantern is uh, <laughs> Didn't the help most that. most one most people think of recently. But very, I mean, I love Golden Eye and oh, yeah. Casino Royale. Very accomplished guy. So to put this film into the arms of Baltazar Komiker added me a little bit of skepticism. Yeah, and I think the name just Two Guns <laughs> with like any any film with like an actual numerical. Thing going on in the title, like too always, fast, too furious. yeah, exactly. It always feels a little, <laughs> especially when it's before a word. It yes, always feels a yes. little bit alarming. So yes, yes. I, I mean, <laughs> I, like those two things together, so worry me. But the cast is, I mean, deep. I mean, Denzel, Wahlberg, Paul, Paul Patton, Bill Paxton, Fred Ward, yeah, James Marsden, yeah, Edward James Olmos, Robert. John Burke. I mean, it's a very, very accomplished cast. The, for sure. the trailer really throws me off, though, because I don't feel like the trailer really showcases the fact that it's comedy very well. I think it kind of. Uh, maybe I just haven't seen the right trailers, but uh, I felt like it sort of felt like Bad Boys Two to me. Yeah, which, which I, I never mean, think of Bad Boys as comedy. I always think like, of. I mean, I mean even though they are, they're comedic. For, yeah. but I think of them as action. More, more like buddy cop action. Where well, that's the buddy cop that, relationship. Well, that's what that's I felt comedic. like this one. I mean, you know, I mean, it's probably sacrilege to compare it to, but I did sort of feel a little bit of that lethal weapon sort of vibe mm, to it, where it's like both of them are sort of skeptical yeah. about the other and their okay. skills and stuff like that, and they're just sort of forced into a partnership okay. against their okay. will, and that ultimately probably dictates their success because they probably couldn't have done it alone or maybe, something like maybe that. Maybe it's just the fact of Denzel being very laughy and also badass, but I just couldn't shake the training day feeling. I just couldn't well, shake... Well, I mean, the, the trailer does have a little bit of, like, cheesy over-the-top action, you know, like, where they're blowing up that truck and stuff yeah. like that, and the money's raining yeah. down. Like, it's, it's, I mean, clearly it feels a little over-the-top. Uh-huh. In a film like Two Guns, you kind of assuming it's all over the top with the name two guns that's the, you hope so you hope yeah but you know it's i, I mean i i will admit i'm kind of curious see it no so far apparently no reviews are on rotten tomatoes they have nothing like nothing wow which i'm curious to check out i mean Ooh. theoretically the screening <laughs> locally is occurring on tuesday of this week hmm. so it would be interesting to sort of see the the fallout of that yeah because i think a lot of them are probably around that same time national probably. but in terms of like audiences it seems like 98 percent of the people who responded said they wanted to see it which i'm i mean i'm surprised it's that high yeah like i mean i didn't know i don't think i even heard about it until very recently i don't I, think it had very much of a buzz my first uh awareness of it was at um, CinemaCon. Yes, when they, they did that. trailers for that, they did R.I.P.D. I think they almost did R.I.P.D. And I'm trying to remember if they're the same studio. I, I, I doubt it. Mm. But I, I feel like I remember seeing them in very quick succession of each other. Gotcha. And it, it was sort of like, between the two of them, because both of them were like buddy cop uh-huh. yeah. sort of <laughs> action comedies, I was like, actually... I'm surprisingly curious about this film, Two Guns. Hmm. Like, I was like, uh, it looks a little bit better than I would have assumed I feel it like would. Mark, Wa- Mark Wahlberg is most of the time a coin flip for me. 
Yeah. I feel like he doesn't really fall in the middle line. I mean, you get like you get this the one the roles that he's in that I love, like mm. you know the other guys, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a huge fan of the Italian Job and yeah, the big hit, even though it's mm -hmm. completely. I gets, it. and, but then on the other side, he has you know pain and gain, pain and gain, or you know the happening. Yeah, I mean, but I mean he. What? I mean, What's he's going on? probably one of the biggest action draws at this point. I mean, you think That's, of like back in the day, yeah. there was a lot of signature people like Stallone, Willis. Yeah. Outside of the Expendables crew, he's pretty much kind of. Well, I mean, I think those are mostly considered over the hill. And it's oh, no, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think he's kind of like that m closer in that new breed. Like, him and Statham are probably like yeah. the, some of the more. Yeah, even, even though, though Statham's like in the Expendables. 45. Yeah, and in the um, Expendables. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think he's probably like him and Dwayne Johnson are yeah. probably the new ish breed of sort of action stars. And that's understandable why he's then taking over Transformers. Yep. You know, and also I mean, why they were in Bane and Gain together. I mean, clearly. And. W Dwayne was almost in uh, Transformers. I think it was like oh, between wow. him and Wahlberg to be the lead huh. in the new Transformers movie. Huh. So, you know, it's, I mean, I think he's a pretty good action star. I mean, I, I, I guess you throw like Damon and maybe a few other people mm -hmm. into that, though Damon, I guess, is sort of curtailed that That's, since the yeah. Born series has occurred. But, you know, over. it, it there is, <laughs> it's, it, <over. laughs> it's a lot harder to find sort of the action stars of today than say like the 90s when you agree. had like you know Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. uh Bruce Willis and Stallone like Especially, it was like I mean, an easy thing it's going with with comic book movies and the special effects complete full like resurgence of green screening and digital film it's yeah. now much more it's much easier to make a special effects laden action film than it is to make like a kind of yeah. more classic guns and explosions action film of the 90s mm -hmm. all those people well even if they weren't doing their own stunts that was always very practical car crashes explosions guns people beating each other up it's you know? interesting to sort of see the evolution of uh denzel washington as well in the sense Man, that, that he's guy. become a cre it feels like increasingly an action Action star yeah. as his career has gone yeah. on. I mean, he still can hop into roles like Flight and be a complete drama actor every now and then. Right, but, but I feel like you know, like a dude who I believe is like fifty. He's got to be getting up there. He's got he, like he like you think about things like Safe House last yeah. year. Oh yeah, that's right. And, yeah, uh, I mean, it's just it's interesting to sort of see him becoming increasingly a go-to selection. Yeah, for yeah. Like what was it, Man on Fire? Or Man on Fire. Or yeah. Man on Fire and Safe House and Training Day. I mean, those are all relatively what the last ten years. Oh yeah, I mean probably even like the last seven yeah I mean, he's he's very much becoming a, an acceptable that's action pretty star. impressive to be a dramatic actor when you're younger and then move into action as you get older it, you yeah. think it would be the other way around you get too old for action and you go into the drama field, i know it's sort of interesting like I, i'm sure it's awesome to be nominated for like academy awards uh -huh. and be a highly regarded actors and like shakespeare and things like yeah. i think it was in what much ado about I think nothing, so, yeah. like 25 years ago yeah. <laughs> and glory and all sorts of like uh -huh. regard things like that philadelphia but, yeah exactly but at the same time like i feel like it'd be fun to be in an action movie like it feels like that would just that, be yeah. awesome to be shot and shoot other people, <laughs> yeah. crash beat, cars beat and stuff. Up, like yeah. it just feels like you know there's an element of just like fun. Like yeah. it's I mean I don't have to cry in the scene. I get the punchy <laughs> guy. Like it seems like it'd be fun and maybe yeah. that's more of like he wants to balance the dramatic with fun yeah. stuff when he's I doing. feel like he got a, he got that taste from Training Day and he just doesn't want to go back. He's or, like man that was so much fun to just be that kind of crazy dude. Or maybe action films just pay more. Like, those are usually bigger budget projects, usually yeah, have bigger audiences true. going to that's... them. I mean, I'm thinking probably Philadelphia, not like the biggest paycheck imaginable. Awesome that's, film, good performance, a, probably probably not the It's a very home run sad but cash. true point, yeah. because you look at things like the Transformer films, bringing them back again. Uh, those, you know, are huge box office draws and yeah. huge budgets, I mean, and they're think, just CGI robots. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. made, what, $50 million off of the Avengers? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, probably not going to earn that doing Chaplin. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. For less than zero. Yeah. yeah. No, saying. probably not.
but <laughs> let us know your thoughts about two guns. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious to see what people are thinking. I think I think it's I'm I'm holding out hope it's going to be fun. I'd be curious if other people to, to be more accurate, disagree we with should that. each do a gun because 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 you know it's if I have two guns, I'm th then I'm, it's like I feel like we're going movie. like you know hot fuzz. Like, <laughs> yes, no, jumping through the air. Yeah, yeah. you have a shot two guns at one time. Yeah, uh, no, that'd be awesome. But I like I like your British accent. That's thank you. It's horribly. Oh, God, somebody appreciates my atrocious <laughs> British accent. Maybe I'll do more accents if people demand it, or maybe I, I won't. Demand, yeah. I don't demand people it. Probably, I don't hate you, people. The audience. Flame it on the like YouTube comments and stuff like that. Yeah, but me, just me, with five different. I accounts. think a lot of people will. You're not alone there. But let us know your feedback about two guns and mm -hmm. you know both the Dark Cormaker, mm -hmm. Denzel, Mark Wahlberg, Marky at, Mark. Yep. Check us out at MacGuffin. That's MacGuff.in. We're at MacGuffincast on Twitter. Mm -hmm. We're on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MacGuffin Podcast. Yes, Phone are. number 323-761-9842. Leave us some dirty voicemails. So that, Please do. Uh, we we can, love them. We can just love them. The dirtier, really, the better. Get really creeped out by yeah. the fact of the imagination you all have. Yeah. We might play them, though, so do that at your own <laughs> regard. Uh, we're at iTunes. We're on Blip.tv. We're on Miro. We're on Roku. Check in and get glue. Get some badges. Stick them all over. Stick all those badges. Uh, get some star. Leave some stars on iTunes and some thumbs and comments on YouTube. And we'll see you next time.